Hello there my friends and welcome to this special video where I will cover the newest Vader comic release today and my god was it a beauty. We see Vader in a whole new different light. If they continue to expand canon Vader this way then I'll become a bigger fan than I am right now. Stick around till the end guys, you won't regret it. Starting immediately where issue number 9 left off, Jocasta Nu and her new innovative lightsaber rifle are going up against Darth Vader. During this time Jocasta scolds Vader. We basically get the same speech Obi-Wan gave to Vader before leaving him on Mustafar. She identified him as Anakin Skywalker and couldn't believe that the one who was chosen to bring balance could be twisted by the Sith this much. As she was firing round after round, all of a sudden the weapon malfunctioned. It is at this point that Vader continues to reassure the Jedi Librarian that nothing will happen to her, that she won't be killed. Nu, without any other recourse, set the weapon to self-destruct and flinged it towards Vader who immediately realized the ruse. He force pushed the weapon back, however Jocasta may have planned this beforehand. She stepped aside and this blast opened a crater in the wall, giving Jocasta a chance to escape. Now perhaps she was all prepared to face her enemy one on one, however I'm not sure she was aware that outside there was a whole battalion of clones patrolling the Jedi Temple. I mean she knew that there was some guards at the gate but not as many as she was faced with right now. This is made apparent when she inevitably can't handle the barrage of blast of fire that was thrown at her. In the end she was subdued and the clones were ordered to not fire and kill her as Vader had ordered she be taken alive. Master Nu had had enough. With no other way in sight, she decided to take her own life and fall off the edge and down to her death. Suddenly she felt something, someone reaching through the force. Darth Vader grabbed her through the force and stopped her from falling and guided her to the LAAT where he and his clone company was. Shortly thereafter the clone commander approaches Vader after searching Jocasta Nu. He tells him that nothing much was found on her except this memory crystal. It is in fact that little crystal that would intrigue Vader. Using his built-in computer, Vader searches through the crystal and indeed finds out the contents of it. He finds out that the crystal maps out every force-sensitive child all scattered throughout the galaxy. When he confronts Jocasta about this fact, the Jedi realizes that Palpatine has not revealed everything to his apprentice. She even goes on to mock him for this fact, that he still is clueless of what goes on around him and the fact that Palpatine was going to use these children to make more of him, more Vaders, more Sith apprentices. Now I will skip through some pages because I want to make a separate video about what happens in these pages. In the end what happens is that the vehicle crashes. In my mind Jocasta Nu goes on to escape once again from the grasp of the Sith where we will probably see more of her in future renditions of the Vader comics. But back to the point of the video. What we see next is astonishing. It is the first time that Vader knowingly lied to his master Darth Sidious. As Vader communicated to his master as to what happened with the transport and that Jocasta had apparently perished and died in the crash, Palpatine called for Vader to appear before him and asked him a simple question. What did he learn or obtain from Jocasta Nu? At this moment, Vader knowing full well what was at stake, he crushed the memory crystal in his hand, destroying the chances of Palpatine ever getting to the force sensitive children. In the end, he told Palpatine that he had found nothing. This was a great scene and absolutely one of my favorites in this new series of the Vader comics. I really love it and it shows us we will go places that we have never been before in the ever expanding canon lore. For those of you who are just finding out about this, what did you think of this particular scene? I would love to know your thoughts, feel free to comment and lastly, thank you guys so much for watching.
All right, Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day, my friends. And in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.